past my mic. There we go. Good evening, everybody. And I want to thank my good friend Spike Lee for that wonderful introduction. Uh, I know that he would much rather be home watching Denver get... Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you. And, but I am thrilled. And I want to... Hey, I got to thank uh, Mr. Charles Phillips uh, for bringing the, the Apollo back to life. It brings back so many, um, brings back a lot of memories and stuff for me. My first memory here in the Apollo was when I was four years old. My dad was a musician, he played the trombone, and his group was backing Sarah Vaughan. So uh, he came, I was with him, he had to take care of me in the afternoon, and they were doing their sound check. So he brought me here. And Sarah was uh, in the dressing room, and you know those uh, mirrors with the light bulbs around it? She was just in there, she was sitting there smoking a cigarette. How many of you? There's not much uh, uh, conversation you can have with a four-year-old. <laughs> but uh, she dealt with me, she bore with me for those few minutes. Uh, it's something I never forgot. Time passed on, and uh, I had to come for the Motown Review. I know some of you out here were, were there for the Motown Review. I can see, because you got, remember the, the high water pants, smoking those guys were wearing? Within a week, everybody in Harlem was wearing high water pants. <laughs> but um, it was, uh, there's always special things happening here. The Apollo has been the showcase uh, for so many acts that couldn't get a showcase any other place. And then they go on and show the whole world what their talent and their capabilities are. So as a launching pad for black talent, the Apollo is unequal. The last time I was here, I, I got to see James Brown, which was, that was awesome. And I remember I, we were walking out, um, the show was over. We were walking out, and there were only maybe, you know, 75, 100 people in the back trying to get out. And the curtains opened up, and James came out and was doing some fantastic dance moves under a strobe light. I don't know, I, I've never seen him do that before. Uh, of course, he was, you know, working on some of his incredible moves that we all tried to uh, try to emulate. I know a number of my boys uh, ripped their pants up real good <laughs> trying to do the split like James. But um, it's, it's real special to me for, for those reasons. And uh, I'm really honored to, to come home. You know, I, when I was born, yes, yes when I was born, we were living on 111th Street. And um, while I was growing up, a gentleman that worked here at the Apollo, uh, Mr. Hans Nielsen, he would uh, occasionally give us uh, tickets to come see some of the shows. So, um, you know, this, this place has uh, a lot of really good memories and has done so much good for the, uh, for the community. Uh, the mentoring program I took part in in uh, 1964 really helped me understand my culture, uh, where I was from, how important it was, how important Harlem was for black Americans. So I, I, I thanked all the right people and um, I will get out of your hair so you know I don't have any. And I hope you all have a, enjoy yourselves this evening. Thank you so much.